Hey there, bud. It's Hat and Beard. Welcome back to the channel. Time for our Week 3 XFL Prediction Show. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. Game number one is going to be the Houston Roughnecks traveling to the Tampa Bay Vipers for their home opener. I think everybody knows how I feel about Tampa Bay, even in their home opener. I still am going to take the Roughnecks. I think Philip Walker is going to continue to show that he's the MVP of the XFL. And, well, I, I'm just, I just can't get behind Tampa. I just can't get behind Tampa right now, you guys. So I'm going to take Houston in the over. Uh, I think I think they totally smash here. <laughs> Moving right along, game number two, we got the Dallas Renegades traveling to the Seattle Dragons. And even though Seattle was able to look good in a nice home opener last week when they played the... Uh, yeah. Them. Uh, I, I don't think that Seattle has the firepower to keep up with Dallas. Uh, I, I really kind of, I, I, I know this sounds weird. I, I, I didn't dislike what I seen out of Landry Jones in the second game, or uh, the second half of the second game, rather. Um, if he, if he, if he's able to produce at all at the level that I think we all know he's capable of, uh, I think Dallas easily rolls on Seattle. Um, I don't think they uh, hit the total uh, over under. I'm gonna, I, I'd take the under the in that game. Um, Seattle again just doesn't quite have like. I just don't think Seattle has the firepower to put up enough points to take Dallas down, and I think if Dallas gets out to a three possession lead, they just milk the clock with the short passing game and the running game that apparently just turned out last week. So I'm gonna take the Dallas Renegades and the under in that game. Game number three sees the New York Guardians traveling to the St. Louis Battlehawks for their home opener. I think everybody knows by now how I feel about the St. Louis Battlehawks uh, and with what went on last week in DC where the Guardians just completely fell apart and Matt McGloin just 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 embarrassed himself both on the field and off the field so I think this is a pretty easy uh, smash spot for St. Louis to just to just get right after losing um, to Houston last week so I'm gonna take the Battle Hawks but I'm gonna take them in the under because I think St. Louis plays uh, relatively smarter football not such aggressive football I feel like if they again you know if they get out to a substantial lead they're just gonna kinda maybe put it in cruise control and just lean on that running game so I'm, I'm gonna take St. Louis but I'm gonna take them in the under so yeah so that brings us to our fourth game, and I think the most intriguing game of the entire weekend. We see the DC Defenders traveling to the Los Angeles Wildcats. And I think this is where we're for real gonna see that that traveling East Coast, West Coast narrative actually play out. Um, I know that DC's heavily favored in this game because they're one of the favorites to win the entire league. And rightfully so, they have all of the pieces, they have the coaching staff, they have the quarterback, they have they have everything they need if they just need to get their running game on, on track. And by on track, I mean just more productive. They've been putting the attempts on the ground, they just haven't gotten the results that they've wanted. Um, and although I think Los Angeles opens a golden opportunity for the DC's running game to get on track, as I said in the last video, I don't think LA is as bad as their record shows. And I think game number two with Josh Johnson under center, I think we're actually gonna see a different LA team than we've seen the last two weeks. I think we're gonna see a more productive offense, possibly a more aggressive defense. And by that, I mean capitalizing on, again, the, the traveling to the West Coast narrative. Um, I think this is kind of a trap game for DC. So I'm actually going to take Los Angeles in the over. I think Nelson Spruce gets loose in this one for a couple of TDs. Nelson Spruce getting loose. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, 
even though I'm a Defenders fan, I just don't, I don't, I don't know about this one, man. I'm I, so I would, act, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take Los Angeles, and I'm gonna take them in the over. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for me. What did you think about this video? I think it's a little bit shorter, a little bit more to the point. Um, let me know in the comments below. Make sure and like and subscribe. Um, make sure and drop what you think your picks are. Uh, who you got going this week in the XFL. If you're liking the XFL, uh, let me know. Give me some feedback. Uh, so that's going to do it for me, you guys. Um, I've been Hattonbeard. You've been some Buffalo Chicken Wings. We'll see you next time. Bye.